Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 0315, Sunday, February the 18th, and we're finishing Void Rift. I really wanted to get this done earlier in the week, but we're here. It's on the last day. I apologize if you waited this entire this entire time. I know some folks were asking me to get this done earlier. The week's just been crazy. I apologize. But we're going to get it done. This is the last phase, the the Lysir phase. So up until this point, I've done step-by-step -step walkthroughs on all of the other phases for this week and the previous week. So we've got Aracha, we've got Crimson Star, we've got Torador, we've got the Shadow Keeper, we've got Ludwig, and now Lysir, this one is going to round it out, okay? So this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough. If you're interested in any of those other ones, um, I'll link to those in the pinned comment below so you can go and check out which one you're struggling with. But if this is the first one that you've seen before, this isn't a minimum gear, minimum champs type of walkthrough. This is where I go through the stage and I replay it uh, essentially for the first time since I cleared them months ago. And I, I kind of remember... Um, and walk you through how the stage is designed, how the map is set up, where the enemies come from, and how most optimally to utilize your heroes. Okay, so, you know, put a defender here, make sure you have two defenders, use a, a marksman here, that sort of thing to make it more broadly applicable for you and your roster. And then if you're still struggling at that point after watching it, just leave me a comment, join the Discord server, link will be in the description. I'll help you out as best I can. But this this should be a very generic, uh, generically usable scenario. For a lot of these, the general rule of thumb is kind of two defenders, two healers, and then four flex DPS spots. I don't know why I don't have any defenders here. I don't know. We're going to find out when we start this stage. Let's go. While we're waiting, smash that subscribe button. All right, so yeah, I definitely want defenders here because I have two ways to get to the soul crystal. Um, I have two ranged fighters. I can use them. I'm pretty sure, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how strong the monsters are. These little guys are pretty weak. These little guys are pretty weak, right? So with enough firepower, it probably won't be an issue, and that's probably why I don't have any defenders. So assuming that's the case, Assuming that's the case, yeah, these guys are all super, super weak. So, the easiest way to do it, have two ranged fighters just in case one or two of those monsters gets to you, and then just surround them with marksmen and mages. Um, I would do a combination of marksmen and mages to account for folks that are weak against magic damage and folks that aren't, but either way, if you get two ranged fighters down like this, yeah, those ones might be too strong for Aracha. So that's why I had a healer there. So there you go. There we go. The big guys with the clubs actually hit hard. And that's why we're walking through this again, so that we remember. So let's do it. Um, let's get rid of... Uh, let's get rid of our Cetrum. Why not? Let's... Th well... well Actually, what we'll do actually is I'll throw Cetrum back on there. I'll do it. I'll do the same run. I'll just pay attention and time my ult to take care of them. That'll be easy. I'll have Zilla two there. I'm going 
have stylus on the side facing up. There we go. That'll let him cover this lane effectively on the left side, both from folks coming from the top and the bottom, and give him time if we need him to ult. Same thing with Hex. Oh, Hark's, Hex must be... Hex must be on... Yeah, he's Infernal. I, I should have put him on Aracha so that he could reach up here also, get that extended range, but that's whatever. There we go. We'll use Silas's ult to take care of the big guy. I'll still throw Elowin down. Um, she could be any healer if you're using a defender. I'm putting her down um, mostly for rage regen. I already used Silas's ult, but she'll also be healing Aracha because I used that I used Silas's ult a little bit early. So we'll see if there we go. Yeah, got it done. So just time your ults depending on how strong, uh, how how strong your DPS are and how fast they can kill everyone. And if you're not fast enough or you're not strong enough to kill them fast enough, then use defenders instead of ranged fighters. Just pull the ranged fighters completely, throw two defenders down there, put a healer on each one, and then get uh, two DPS around them. That would be the easiest generic way. Same thing here. I don't know why it's set up this way. We don't have any defenders. We're going to assume that our ranged fighters are strong enough. We'll get a ranged fighter covering both lanes. We'll get a marksman covering all three lanes, right? So our marksman can is covering this bottom lane here, the lane that's going to hit Zilla 2, and the one that Aracha is covering. We also want extra coverage coming the opposite way for these flying guys. Another easy way to take care of these flying monsters the way that I did it the first time was I used Eadril on this map. I used Eadril, I think I had her facing here so that she could cover the left lane and the middle lane um, and just ult as necessary, right? So these big guys hit hard as we just learned in the last one. So I'm gonna use Silas's ult to take care of them so that they're not a problem. Same concept applies, right? If your DPS isn't strong enough, at this point we can place people anywhere. If your DPS isn't strong enough, then use a defender. But what you wanna do is instead of using ranged fighters for this one, you want marksmen, you want mages um, to cover multiple lanes. Pretty simple. So depending on DPS, on your DPS capabilities of your account, right? You're either going to block the soul core with two ranged fighters. See, Aracha's about to die here. That's okay. That's okay. We'll use an ult in order to cover that, that side. We'll use Silas's ult for the big guys, right? Because we know that they hit hard. We'll have Twin Fiend facing left, just in case someone comes around this corner. Doesn't look like that'll be an issue, though. So if your DPS is good enough, just block both lanes with a ranged fighter. 
if your DPS isn't good enough, just like the last one, just use uh, two defenders, put two tanks there, and then have marksmen and mages covering multiple lanes. Have them covering two or three lanes, and that one will be in the books. Anyone do anything exciting this weekend? I did not. It is bitter cold outside. All right. Same team. We don't have any defenders. It's probably just because my DPS is is good enough that I don't need them, right? But if you're trying to clear it for the first time, you'll probably want defenders instead. You will probably want defenders. Okay. So the big thing for these stages is you want to kill these summoners because they constantly summon these little goo guys um, and they'll pop up all over the place. So you want to place your folks in a position where they can kill them as fast as possible. This one I can't reach, but I can place a DPS here to kill them before um, they get, before they have time to build up and when they when they hit each other right if that first one would have been alive they would have combined and made a bigger one over here can I reach there we go I don't I what I like to do is I like to place someone on this right side that can cover this summoner and place uh, I like to place a ranged fighter here to help take him out and block this lane these little guys do have high uh, defense so ideally you would want a mage here instead of a marksman but if you're struggling, do it that way. They combined. I'm going to get Elowen on the board. A, healing Zilla too, since she's uh, here blocking this area. And B, just for extra rage regen. Your marksman up here to take care of the mage. This spot is important because they, they take out this summoner and they block this lane. If they're not quite strong enough to kill them as they come around, save your ults for when those summoners show up so that ideally, right, if this was a mage, it would have killed it a long time ago and then could have focused on the summoner. But that's okay. I'm compensating for not remembering the optimal way to do it with better DPS gear. And then we've got flex spots, right? These flex spots, um, more than likely, you can use uh, one over here probably. You can use a defender, you can put someone on the board, and you can, um, I, remember, I remember placing someone here to take care of any that I think one or two when I was doing it initially trying to one or two was able to sneak past this DPS and this DPS and so I had someone here to clean up come on magic damage over there there we go so take out the summoners and try to make sure that the goo don't combine. This one's really easy. This is basically your your gold raid in in the normal game, right? You just need a lot of AoE damage. So throw one or two, three fighters, ranged fighters on the board. You don't need tanks because these little uh, goblins don't do any damage. Uh, so you just throw a couple down there for um, just for block purposes, just so as they're coming 
across the board, you'll be able to block a couple of them. And then it's all about AoE mages. So how many uh, ranged fighters you need to put on the board will be dependent on how strong your AoE mages are. If you have really strong AoE mages, then like I just put two here just for block purposes, but really, I mean, I could get away with one. And then you just cycle your ult as the monsters come through, just as necessary depending on how strong you are. So one or two fighters, don't worry about it. These goblins aren't doing any damage. And then all AoE mages and just destroy the map. This is the easiest one. go and that's it we'll just pop bolts just to finish it off and I think we've just got the boss left I'm pretty sure that's it Lassier is not fun <laughs> I struggled with him at first. I still struggle with him sometimes, just because I'm not paying attention. Uh, Lassier weakens hero's healing skills. Killing him quickly will make it a lot easier to win the battle. Yeah, so um, pretty much equal defense and magic resistance, so it doesn't matter who you're hitting him with, but here's the thing that matters, right? Uh, Lassier brings upon Void Whisper to all heroes, dealing damage to them per second and reducing their healing effect. So when he shows up, he does a damage over time and a healing reduction to everyone. Um, hits everyone on the battlefield and reduces their attack and deal is ma deals massive damage to one hero and inflicts anti-healing. So he hits hard. These are the goos we're talking about, right? As they combine, they get stronger uh, with your... These are the summoners, right? For the summoners, we want to use a marksman because they have low defense. We don't really want mages, but if that's all you got, that's all you got. You definitely want to kill them, though, before uh, before they can summon too much. So this is the team that I was using. It's the same one as all the others. That's probably why. Um, and the strategy here is just to nuke the boss, all right? So whatever nukes you have... That's how you're going to set it up. And there's a few different ways to do this. The easiest way to start off, well, I'm pretty sure I place, since I use Silas for my marksman on the right to take care of the summoners over here, I want to place him first because he's going to start attacking this big guy. block there. Uh, will I have enough time? Nope. That's okay. Silas got him. Let's use Silas's ult to take care of him and the summoners. Now you can use Silas over here, you can use Setrum, you can use Razak, but you want someone, you want a marksman over here, you can use Hatset. Um, there's a bunch of different options here for who you're going to use. They can take care of those summoners. Okay, so I mistimed that. Let's slow it down a little bit. We'll use our ult on him. We'll get Elowen on the board for rage. The easier way to do this, instead of trying to place Aracha here, the easier way to do it would be uh, to place a defender there. <laughs> I'm gonna use Aracha and I'm gonna have her facing to the right so that she can hit this summoner 
um, at the same time. That way I'll take out one and these two won't build at the same time and combine and that gives Silas time to rebuild his ult. We're going to put Zillatu here. I'm going to place Dolores, Cetrum, because I had Aracha facing to the right, she was able to help take out the bottom summoner. And so even though this one is summoning, with only one coming around, I'm able to pick them off and it's not dangerous. I'm gonna slow it down. It's not really dangerous uh, because they can't combine. Now, basically once the boss shows up, once Lassier shows up, shows up, there's gonna be more summoners pop. So whoever you're using over there, uh, make sure they have their ult ready to take out those summoners and then you probably would have done this a while ago oh yeah see I lost hex there because I was talking instead of paying attention to the game uh, pop all of your ults and do your do your big nuke on the boss that was so poorly tamed I don't timed I don't know if that's even going to be good enough yeah um, so everyone died. We made it through. That was only because of my DPS gear. Okay. If you were trying to do this yourself, time it better. Okay. Pop all your ults earlier so that Lysir doesn't have time to kill everything. I personally like doing an infernal nuke here because you can use Dolores, you can use Zilla too, you can use your, um, you can use your Lord here, whether it's Pyros or Twin Fiend. If you don't have that Infernal Nuke team, that's okay. Use what you got. I've also, um, let's set our folks back up so that they can take care of these summoners. Once you use them for the boss, the easiest thing to do would be to pull a couple so that they can take out the summoners in the bottom left, right? Because these are going to multiply now if I don't stop them. Zilla too strong, so she was able to kill them in one hit. Uh, but if she wasn't, right, then that would be much more precarious. So a much easier way to do this than I did it, right? Use a defender here instead of uh, a ranged fighter. Use a defender here instead of a ranged fighter. Use a marksman on the right side in order to take out these summoners on the right side and build your nukes around here. The exact placement is gonna differ depending on, on your account, right? And who you've got. I was talking instead of paying attention to folks being summoned. There we go. We were able to clean it up anyways. So use a defender because that's where the monsters start there in the beginning. Use a defender, use a marksman to nuke these summoners. Build your nukes around the center. Dolores can reach a couple of folks, right? Set her up there to reach um, one or two folks, a ranged fighter, get a nuke on there, maybe put maybe put Silas there on the left, right? Um, I love Silas as a nuke, I use him everywhere. So maybe use him there against the boss instead. Use Hex, um, at, place Hex as the last one down if you, if you have him, because when he gets hit, he negates damage the first time and goes invisible, right? So you basically just get a free hit on the boss if you actually time it appropriately. And that's how you'll beat Lassier. Nuke him down. One ancient summoning crystal with shards, two. Okay. Oh, here we go. What is this? Crit damage. What is that? Wow. That's That's trash. That is absolute trash. That's unfortunate. So one defender, one healer, one marksman on the right, and then you build the other five as nukes around the boss, depending on what you have. Probably Dolores, because you're gonna want that extra attack, and then four other nukes. 
also rather than nuking really early like that. Uh, another way that I that I used to do it before I figured out how to nuke earlier was um, to wait a little bit longer, have more heals on the board, have a second healer. Um, I believe I used Vortex for shields, right? So have Vortex, um, have have crossover heals so that you can heal everyone, and then kind of slowly pick off the boss as he goes around the top is what he'll do. So if you have the nukes for it, just nuke him down fast. If you don't, use two healers covering everyone and then pick him off a little slowly. What? A, why not? Let's. We're here. Let's use our ancients for the heck of it. And then we'll use our gleaming meteorites. If you want to cut out now, thank you so much for your time. Um, if you want to hang around for... I don't care about Aeon. Thanks. I wanted something legendary. That's okay. We're going to go to Artifact. We're going to pull these Gleaming Meteorites. They are just so good. So good. Last week when I did this, Tome of Horror, not what we want. Last week when I did this, Amulet of Arteries. Okay, I've got four or five of these now. I should build one up. Soul Binding Crystal, we definitely want you. Last time I did... I got uh, a Sadie's exclusive. Bloodlust, we don't want that either. Come on, T is Balm, we don't want that either. Give me an exclusive, give me one. Regal Crest, all right, nothing good this week. That's okay, I don't have room for that. It's over, that is all of Nightmare Void Rift, all six phases. Lassier's definitely the toughest, and I kinda finagled my way through with extra DPS and poor timing, but I, I explained how it probably should have gone if you're doing it. If you're still struggling after watching that, if you're still struggling on any stage, let me know in the comments. Join the Discord server. I'll try to help you out if I can. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I will see you in the next one.